Hello, this is Mark Barabas, your Data Protection Pal. Welcome back to a fortnight on Data Protection and Cyber Security. It's been a long time since I did this, but let's begin again. And the good news I have for everyone is that now you can have your own private email address, unlike Gmail that keeps tracking you and pushing rubbish ads okay i'll say rubbish relevant ads to you so duckduckgo has very graciously started to launch their email protection and forwarding service and well you can start to choke or reserve your duck.com email address and well let's look forward to a safer more private email once duckduckgo begins this full service Hopefully by L this year. So uh, more privacy for everybody. And I wonder whether companies also have a privacy kind of policy where it takes care of a staff's privacy. Because I mean, all bosses can actually read the emails of staff. And that's where this article from Forbes comes in. Like, you know, saying that privacy could be an employee benefit. Because really, bosses have the right, most often, most often not, to read emails from staff. So, well, we do, we do preach earlier on that, you know, uh, we should keep our work emails private. I mean, we, can, we should separate and dichotomize work emails from personal emails because work is work, private is private. So, well, um, Forbes uh, author uh, Selvis, this Forbes council member proposed that privacy could be a benefit for staff in future to come let's see what happens because maybe it's because this article came before the u.s launched their new privacy program whereby they're gonna give uh, more privacy or more control to consumers on their private data anyway so let's see how this unfolds in time to come and for businesses again it's very important to align our cyber uh, security when it comes to risk management so as we start to emerge from the pandemic we really need to look at how our companies are able to handle cyber risks because more and more hackers are out there more and more threat actors are out there to steal data and well hopefully and well hope to profit from it so it's very important that organizers begin to their cyber security and look at risk management and take cyber security as a form of risk management because uh, as we progress uh, we will definitely see more and more digitization like how the Singapore government promotes digitization in SMEs today SMEs meaning small and medium sized enterprises or companies and for bigger companies governance becomes a topic that is um, growing and i myself am actually doing some courses on data governance in fact i've been asked to write content on data governance and it's really how companies uh, take good care of the data and handle handle it with proper governance Really, one of the most basic way of governance is well, not everybody should be ex have to should have access to all data in the company. So it's very important for companies, uh, management especially, to look at how data governance is with, uh, is done within the company. Who has access to what kind of data? Because all these could affect uh, how the uh, ethical use of data in companies. And ESG is a very important component as we start to emerge from COVID-19. So really, companies, uh, large companies especially, that have uh, a huge multitude of employees and stakeholders should look into cybersecurity and governance of the data to level up on maturity, whether it's on risk or privacy. And therefore, companies will have to then also access what is their risk appetite when it comes to going cyber or going digital? So it's very essential to work with your team and senior management to kind of like measure your risk appetite. It's easily said and done, uh, especially for uh, smaller entities because uh, it's really hard to measure. Uh, even for the larger companies, measuring risk is uh, not easy as well. So really, we have to 
really use a lot of judgment. So when it comes to this uh, risk appetite, uh, business owners have to make their final decision and see how much risk they can handle and want to handle. So again, there's a whole study on managing risk appetite and even risk tolerance. So risk appetite and risk tolerance are not to be confused. They are two different uh, huge topics in management and of risk. So this is Mark Barnabas, your data protection pal. Hope you have learned something from this uh, little um, session and feel free to connect with me. Uh, I'll be going to Germany to present my game, Data Heist, that I created to educate the public on data protection and cyber hygiene. So hope to see you real soon. Take care and be safe.